As a healer, your role is to help the group succeed, and that extends beyond just healing your allies. If you can do anything to help your group succeed, be it in a raid, a battleground, a dungeon, an arena, or anywhere else, you should take the opportunity. Stunning enemies, using crowd controls, interrupting them, communicating, but the biggest thing that most healers forget they can do is that they actually have quite a few damage dealing skills. Make sure you deal some damage to enemies in the moments where no one needs to be healed. Every fight, no matter the difficulty, has moments of downtime. Big or small, these moments can be used to regenerate mana, which is what most healers do. But instead of sitting there doing nothing or refreshing your healing over time abilities or something like that, you should use your damage dealing abilities as well. Remember, they are free and you can use them to help your allies kill enemies just that little bit faster. It might not seem like much, but every little bit of damage will help, especially as you start fighting tougher and tougher enemies. Not only that, but good raid leaders will take note of a healer that is going beyond their role. If they see you dealing decent damage while also keeping your allies alive, they will take that into consideration when thinking about who their best healers are and who they're going to take to certain fights. You can, quite literally, avoid being benched by using this technique. Just be careful not to go over the top and forget to heal. Make sure you weave damage dealing abilities into your rotation, not cast solely one or the other type of ability. A great healer will find moments of downtime and throw out some damage dealing abilities while the raid is healthy.